Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Elementary Mitch with today's new video. Well, I promised you guys more videos on those of you using the VEX123 on some other projects that you might have your students doing once they learn the four words, lefts and rights um, with this robot. So today what I want to do is show you a very fun and definitely problem solving video for your students called VEX123 Bowling. Let's take a look. So I have my VEX123 field set up, but you can set this up however you want. You can use half of the field. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Um, I have my, and you can use a toilet paper roll, but I got a paper towel roll, roll right there. And what the neat thing is, is you can have your students start this wherever they want. For fo you know kids still starting off, you, may, you might put it right in front of them. So that way they can just visualize how many uh, squares they need to go. But if you're, you know, with the higher grade level students, now they're going to have to visualize a path. You know, how do I get my VEX robot to knock that over? Uh, I can knock it over going this way. I can knock it over going that way. Any way you want. And so what they're going to have to do is just kind of see and visualize their path and try to knock this thing over. So let's go ahead and just choose our path. Let's go ahead and do a right, and then we're gonna do one, two, three forwards, and then the one, one, two, three, four, five forwards there. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. And if you remember, if we wanna get rid of any previous programs, we're gonna just shake that off. Okay, so we're gonna turn right, and then we're gonna go one, two, three. I always have my students count it out. So I know they're actually counting. One, two, three. And then we're gonna to need to make a left turn. And then we're gonna to need to do the one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And looks like we're ready to go. Let's check this out. Okay, there's the three forwards. There's that left turn. One, two, three, four. And we've knocked it off. And that's the fun part where the students might build something or if it's just fun knocking that thing over. But they have to problem solve the whole thing. And if they get really good at that, you know, you can move uh, their robot into different positions. You may even have them start their robot facing a different direction. So that way they're having to figure out, okay, now I got to turn this way. So there's so many possibilities. Um, and that's what's really cool about this VEX 123. Okay, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed that project. That is so neat. And it's so cool for the students. You know, you can just see them, the wheels turning and doing their lefts and rights and counting how many forwards it's going to take to knock that thing over. And so it's really fun. It's really a neat way to have those kids again, sequence, problem solve. And again, if they make a mistake, this is the best way where the robot can tell them that they've made a mistake. They go back, shake the thing, try it again. And you know, that's what we talk about in STEM is if you mess up, try again. If you fail, let's just keep trying until we get to the end goal.